Okay, this tutorial is all about playing with grids and playing with the uh, transparency, uniform transparency effect. Okay, what we're gonna achieve here is this kind of effect. So what I did, I just copied the picture from, I, I inserted a photograph, which is the photograph that you're seeing here, and uh, I put some grids, and then after putting the grids, I put some white squares put transparencies in it and change the colors of the transparency okay so I'm going to delete all of the stuff first okay so the very first thing we have to do is you have to click on view and click on snap to objects this means to say it's gonna snap when, when I'm going to make a grid it's going to snap on the grid this is important you have to click on snap to objects so it has to have uh, that check mark there I click on that one okay now you be go to our graph paper tool which is this icon here like the graphing paper icon it's one two three four five six seven eight ninth to the top okay you would know that's a graphing paper because it has those grid icon and then here I don't I don't know what's the what's the default but you have to change it to for this for this one, for this project, I'll make it four columns and six rows, which means to say when I click like that, it's going to make four columns and then six rows. Okay. So I click on that and I already set it to four and six, four columns, six rows. Now since it's snapping to objects, I will just go near to this edge and it snaps to that mode and click and drag and go to the lower left corner of the photograph F4 to view everything okay now I have grids okay. now the grids I'll go to my outline tool and click on my outline pen dialog which is F12 and then I'll make that white I can make it 0.5 points really depends upon the size of your picture and then we click OK there you go so I've got grids there now the next thing I have to do is to create a box which is white okay so I click on my rectangular tool and since I am snapping to my object I just go to a corner of a grid go to the lower left corner and then I color it white okay here do another grid color it white here color it white in here white here so snapping to an object is really handy because now you don't need to eyeball you know if it's right to the edge right okay now here the next thing we have to do is to click on the object we'll remove the outline so click on the the box and click on the outline tool and remove the outline which is the X icon no outline you can also shift so you can you can select multiple objects and then click the outline tool and no outline I've got no outline now the next thing I have to do is to click on uh, the box okay and then go to my interactive transparency tool you know the wine glass transparency and then click on uniform there so click on this one again object uniform so while you're in your transparency tool you can always click to an object and go to uniform click to an object uniform click to an object uniform transparency and here's the last one there even this one is a good effect already well then I mean let's make it just experiment you can put yellow on that one and put green you can put blue uh, pink purple like this uh, dark green like that so that's the effect or you can just leave it that one so that's all so it's just playing around the transparency tool 